All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, I have Corvus with me. He is flying the Tempest Mark V. He has it specialized. And we're going to chat about its capabilities tonight, especially in terms of taking down these bombers. So he's going to drop some bombers. I'm going to cover him, maybe drop a bomber or two myself. But it looks like in this match, I'm going to be trying to keep the XP-67 off of you, maybe. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Tempest. Wow, it's... Uh well, let's let's get it out of the way, um, folks. Uh, folks, I've done this before, and folks who know how this works, um, I don't have to tell you. But for folks who haven't heard, the way I do this is I buy the certs, I I cert the aircraft completely out, um, uh, I go and then token out the specialization, and then equip it with uh, ultimate gear. Um, generally, uh, don't calibrate it. Oh. You okay down there? I'm going to take a pass at the XP-67 or so. Oh, he's already gone. Goodness gracious. All right, maybe we don't have to yeah. worry as much about that as I thought. <laughs> I, I hit him, but unfortunately, I, uh, I got hit in return. Okay. So, so the, part of this guy, part of the problem with this guy is that it's, um, it, it's a little delicate. That that's my issue with it. Right. All it's right. a little delicate, and and so I've got it equipped uh, with consumables that uh, help me repair the wings, the uh, uh, the en and the engine, and oops, and he's back. <laughs> I figured the P P fifty one was going to be on you, so I locked in on him first. <laughs> Well, I just took care of them again. These guns right hit like a ton of bricks, folks. Holy smokes! I uh, I took that P I took that XP67 down like nobody's business. Uh, part of the problem is these guys are, are tier nine bombers, so I'm yeah. uh, I'm not wiping them out as fast as I could when they're when it's at tier eight. Um, but. Uh, uh, one of the things too is is absolutely ignore the uh, the um, the range given. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the the range given uh, for he's the. Seven inbound again. Yeah, I see him. Oh, he's, gonna he's get coming you after me. There. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I went, oh, <clears throat> I didn't no, quite get he, a hold uh, of him. He, uh, he 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 knew who to find this time. Yep. He knew who to find this time. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go down. I think here to the uh, what about? Yeah. Oh, there's somebody that they took. They nice. Took, uh, you got took in. Took it care of. Yeah. There you go. All right. As Sorry you were saying. <laughs> uh, 1,050 meters. There's uh there's uh, battery, 8010 over there. Yeah, I don't have the uh, HP to get him. I don't think. Okay. It doesn't matter if we can knock off that bomber flight. Yep. Uh, is he coming after you? Yeah, yep, he turned. Ah. Nice. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Oh. oh, I think you got two more on you. Okay. Uh, Banshee belly attacked me. I didn't see him coming up. I was more focused on what was ahead and above. Uh -oh. So, okay. a thousand yeah. meters is not, not accurate. It's less than that. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's uh, 550 to 650 is where you... You want to start attacking. Anything closer than about four is is problematic as well. Um, it just because of the convergence of the guns. Right. Now I got to go. And, I got to go and catch up to this bomber stream. I'm having. Uh, we're, we we don't have anybody. Uh, so speed might anybody. be an issue at least in this mode. Uh. Yeah. So I'm I'm closing in, but. The the problem is is that stupid uh, that stupid bomber is uh, escorting. Yeah, I hate that thing. It'll take him a while to Gosh. chew through me. So. Yeah, he. That's uh the the mobile flak battery is I hate that. Yeah, I this mode that. it's a real issue. So so yeah um so the guns range call it 550 to 650 meters. Uh, I think that's where they, the the rounds converge, and if you can keep your enemy 
within that range, they will evaporate. Uh, if you engage past that, uh, it, uh, not in that range, you're gonna, you're gonna wish that uh, you'd never been born because it just takes forever to knock anything down. Um, I also equip this guy with radio navigation. Now, okay. folks would say, "Oh, but you want to, you want to make the, you want to make everything hit." I say, "Yeah, but I don't want them to see me coming." <laughs> if I, I've, I've given my. I've given my uh, radio navigation, I've given it 15% uh, added um, accuracy. So 15% against moving targets, uh, and it works. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, down there. Having a trouble. There we go. <laughs> Took me a little bit. Oh, look at this guy. I knocked off uh, I knocked off a bit. Yeah, I can't catch up to him, unfortunately. And of course, Ooh, at, the, they... at the range, I'm still getting shot at you know 1,300 meters by machine guns. <laughs> yeah. No, it's 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 just stupid. The the mobile flak battery thing just drives me absolutely crazy. Uh, now I'm I'm having a little trouble here uh, with that P60 uh, XP67. Somebody else cleared and him. I was on him too. Yeah. Oh, the got, other Tempest he's did. Got a friend. Yep. Oh, shoot. Ha! There we go. Oh, and I'm, I'm on cooldown on my, uh, on my stupid, uh, uh, kit. My, uh, health kit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, now finally the pilot's back. So, uh, like I said, oh my gosh. Uh oh. Yeah, that Banshee is. Uh that bot pilot's doing work, let me tell you. <laughs> that's that. So that's a that's a negative of this particular plane. It bottom tier. It's merely good enough. Um, it's not super awesome. Uh, bottom tier. Uh, top tier. I'm sorry. It's it's really good. Yeah. All right. All right. The XP. Yeah, it got me too, XP. but I got another bomber in half of it. So I, I'm having trouble oh switching gosh. over to see you. Sadly, it's I've got the bug where it's not letting me switch between. Oh, there we go. Well, oh my gosh, the and, and the F2H of course was covering for him. There we go. Nice. Finally. No. Oh my gosh. There he is. There he is back again. Man, that guy's brutal. <laughs> Spot ban. I'm going to devote a little bit of time here to wiping him out. Because, but hey, there's no ace yeah, spots. Just, just letting you know, Wargaming says he's the same skill as everybody else. Uh huh. No, <laughs> I, I believe it. Uh, yeah, checks in the mail, and uh, all those other lies that uh, <clears throat> that we can't really say on a family program. That's <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, so um, speaking of uh, program. Everybody listening, please subscribe to H Zero's channel. Uh, <laughs> leave some comments. Speaking of checks uh, in the mail. <laughs> yeah, no, give them give them a thumbs up, man. Everybody, uh, you know the the channel doesn't grow unless uh, unless people engage, and the engagement part. Oh my gosh, I get away from here. Oh, I I'm cannot coming. get away from that damp bomber. Yeah, he's the, the range on it's just absurd, right? I'm having to dive to clear out of range, basically. Yep, the mobile flak battery thing just drives me nuts. All right, I think I can devote some time to clearing him out now. Of course, we'll just send him back to the beginning where the other bomber flight is. I uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, and just unload on him until I reach cooldown so that he'd uh, so they kill me because. I need to get back to where the bombers are. Yeah, yep, fair enough. I'm trying to clear yeah. out some respawns because I'm hoping that uh, we're at least keep us even with them in some sense, right? Yeah. Always no, a factor in these idea. missions as well.
yeah, I should uh, I I should take care of, take care with that because uh, we get less than they do. Yes. Um, I forgot about that. Sorry. Um, let's see. I was talking about radio navigation. Radio navigation. It. I I don't think that. Well, and, and this particular pilot that I'm running has uh, marksman one and two, so I'm making up for not running a, a gun sight by running marksman one and two. Now, I, frankly, with the stats of this stats of this uh, gun setup, I don't think you really need to worry too much. Yeah, I don't either. I mean, accuracy wise, it's very good, right? So. Yeah. All right, I'm. I, I'm flying over these bomber streams which will never touch uh our um flak batteries so those yeah. are always the dangerous ones right yeah yeah for sure oh look at those chunks coming off i'm following you by the way oh. nice it's just the uh, yeah you've got that p51 on you oh my goodness gracious and it's always something with this guys right yeah now I've got three of them on me. There's a lot it's, on that. Yeah. Goodness. Oh my gosh. Now, and, and that's the thing is that doing it alone, it, it's it's impossible to do it alone. Yeah. It, it really is. But what am I going to do? I can't I can't let these guys just uh, I can't let these guys guys just come. Yeah. Well, and that's the issue is, yeah, the B-29 is now covering that flight with eight left. Oh, okay. Well, I won't do that one then. <laughs> well, we've only got eight points left, so. Yeah. Well, all right. I'll, I'll go there, but I won't like it. What do you think of that? I like it. <laughs> I mean, I can take two of these before he shoots me down. Probably. Oh, here's a... Fine. You want it like that? Let's do it like that. Where is he? He's over here with his flight. Okay. Unfortunately, if I turn my back, I know exactly what will happen. Well, the trick is just give him, give him as many targets as possible. You can only concentrate on one at a time, right? Right. All right. So our guys, our our uh, our guys actually there. So yeah, speed is an issue. <laughs> I've lost my pilot like six times this match. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we All need right, to I kill four of these bombers in the last flight, and and we're we're good for the match, I think, right? Uh, is this the last, uh, oh, yep. it is the last attack. You are smart. I haven't been paying attention. I've been flapping my yap too much. Um, yeah, so, uh, I am going to be grinding this, uh, plane for my, uh, North American free-to-play account, uh, because, uh, it's just good. Um, here I am, uh, against an IL-20, and I essentially... Just knocked it off in one in one reheat cycle. An IL twenty, folks. It's an IL twenty. Yeah. They they they're not made with uh with nothing. Okay, what do we got? We got the XP. Oh my gosh. We got to kill three bombers. So if there's. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do it because I got. Oh, we only have five their planes dog left. Is on me. Yeah. We're... Oh. That P-51 is closing oh on you, Oh, my gosh. Too. Yep. Oh, one more bomber. One more bomber. Come on, bots. Come on, bots. Oh, my gosh. They're not going to do it, are they? <laughs> no, they're not going to do it. we got nothing left. We've only got two planes left, and one's about to die. He stalled himself out. Yep, there was, uh, there was too many... Um, th there was too many people shooting at me there, and I couldn't... Uh, I, I didn't have. Oh my gosh! Left. Our last XP so. 58 is literally just circling in the corner of the map. He he won't engage. No, nope, that's uh, that's not a big surprise. Uh, you know, sometimes they uh, they get the ace bots, and sometimes we get the potato bots. Yeah. 
Yep. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much what it feels like, because if he had gone in, that would have been that. What What happened? No, we won. How did we win? How oh, did we, we did it. Oh, the flat guns. The flat guns must have gotten two. <laughs> oh, as long as this guy doesn't die, then we then we win. Doesn't die where? Like, doesn't die. By how long? For how long? <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> Oh dear. I, I don't understand what's going on. Did we win? We did. Oh my gosh. How did that happen? What is that? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I I take it all back. I take it what all back. A wild match. Holy smokes. <laughs> Wargaming, thank you. I, I appreciate that you gave us the potato bot who actually knew what he was doing when I didn't. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I that's crazy, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, so recap as we're loading back in here. You're running nav equipment because uh, you don't need the, the accuracy. Uh, don't need the accuracy. Uh, I, I don't feel I need it. I've got uh, wing repair uh, consumable, uh, engine repair consumable, health kit. Uh, I put on uh, uh, to mitigate fire. From my uprated engine, yeah. I've I've got the uh, uh, CO2 inerting. So all my all of my consumables are gold. I always throw gold on there. Okay. Um. Uh. Let's see. What else? Well, I've got. Yeah, uh, came oh, I've been running. <clears throat> I've been running uh, high explosive uh, armor piercing for my rounds, and the reason I'm doing that is because I thought maybe I could use this thing for some ground attack. Right. I haven't been able to test that out yet because uh, in this mode, all the ground targets are like, you know, they're they're super duper toughened. Yeah. And e the armored ones even are hard to knock off, even with uh, ground attack aircraft. So this plane would be a waste of time trying to knock out anything but uh, unarmored targets. Yeah. 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 So, so I don't I don't try that. I'm noticing um, something else interesting here as well. I'm looking at the post-game stats, yours, and, and it's convenient. There's a Tempest in the match with us, right? And one of the things that's interesting is you have very few crits, and I think that maybe is just because the rate of fire is so low. Um, so that may be another point in favor of using the nav gear uh, because you know, the reality is if you don't really get enough shots off to, for the crit chance to extra crit chance to be worth it. No, that's that's true. No, that's that's true. I, I I want every shot to create the maximum amount of damage, and if some of my shot is used up in critting, then that means that the rest of the damage doesn't happen. Right. Right. Because of how crits work. Yeah. And so so I want to I want to eliminate if I can uh, any kind of critical damage. Like if you get a bonus on some piece of equipment where it says critical damage, kill that guy. Right, you you don't want critical damage. You want you want to do as much damage as possible. So Fire. maybe explain Fire that to people because I don't think many people know how the the crit damage model works. Like why why they don't know why you're saying what you're saying. So what once you once you critically damage a module, it doesn't take any more damage. So now you're damaging other stuff on the aircraft. Right. So so it's fine. You know, like with a machine gun bird, you're you're doing damage to the rest of the thing, but part of that aircraft is now soaking up damage, p potential damage, but not. Right. Right, because it's not it's not moving that health bar at all. Yeah. So that's that's the way this crit thing works, and that's why you want to not do. I mean, doing crits it has an advantage. Like when you when I'm trying to turn on somebody, and they've got a better better turning uh, uh, aircraft than I do. I absolutely positively want to crit something on them right away so that I have the advantage. I want that. Right. But I want that only because I want to put my guns on some other module and hopefully knock the knock those modules uh uh at, damage yeah. those modules like with fire. Let's so, set them on fire. So you're making a pass on something, you knock the wing, you crit the wing, the wing is red. Any additional hits to that wing while it's red basically do zero damage. 
That's correct. Right. That, okay, so so that's the way I understand it. Before I say that's correct, I want to make sure that I, that I do say it. Is is this is the way it's been conveyed to me from spoke folks like uh, Spirit Fox and uh, Toketsu uh, right. Reito. Yeah. So so right if I'm not yeah. under if I'm not if I'm not conveying their what they're saying to me accurately, it's not because they told me wrong. It's because I didn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> so, yeah. But they have to, they have said multiple times, turn off your crits, turn off all that stuff that gives additional crits, go for fire damage or accuracy. Accuracy is usually the 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 go to, and then, so Spirit Fox now is, says pretty much his first five skill points go to Marksman one and two. Right. So that that that's what he's going for nowadays. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, it, always in the past. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would agree. So that's always, that's a lot of what I do with mine as well. So in the past, what we did was we went with uh, aerodynamics expert. So to get all those, all those modules doing the thing that they do plus forty percent. Yeah. Um. Okay. But now he's saying, uh, no, that's not the most important skill anymore. The most important skill is making sure those guns actually do the thing that they're do, supposed to do. Because I guess you know that's sort of important if you're trying to win. I would say that's true at his skill level. I'm not sure I'd recommend that for a new pilot, though, right? Like that, you know, you, you make a good point. Is that that a lot of a lot of us experienced pilots do stuff because we have the experience and we don't think about it. <laughs> think about when we were new and we didn't know anything about this game and yeah. trying to figure this stuff out. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know. <laughs> Should we I, should we dive into know, another they, they, match? By the way, while we're chatting, I I, I believe so. Yes. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah. So yeah, just just so people understand that. Yeah. So you you don't want crit on something like the Tempest, even though initially you would think you do. Um, so yeah. No, and, I, and the other thing people should know too is each part of the aircraft, abs you know, absorbs different. I've done a video on this. Absorbs different amount of of uh, damage takes different amount of damage there's modifiers built into the flight model all over the place that you just can't see and there's literally no way to see it anymore so um, unfortunately right. right so if you're if you shoot at the wings of an aircraft you're doing less damage than if you hit it in the fuselage yep yep so so that's uh that's why if you can get uh if you can get shots that are non-zero deflection shots you want those so you can get fuselage hits and not wing uh wing hits yeah uh, uh rotating your aircraft 90 degrees to the plane of the other aircraft yeah so i mean shorter all, profile all too yeah harder harder to hit and it takes less damage yeah right look at this lineup by the way <laughs> three b29s that we have to deal with oh <laughs> well that won't suck uh, and a specialized b61 and two <laughs> ground attackers, P fifty one H. Oh, that's that's awesome. Okay. Eh. We'll, we'll see what we can you, do here. You never know what's gonna happen. You, yeah. you just don't. Very true. I mean, I could be flying a J eight M and go be going against a B twenty nine and and I might win. Well, cute kitten will win, but I probably won't because I suck <laughs> at that plane, so No, that's that was a fantastic that was a fantastic he did a great a job in that. He yeah. did a great job. I, uh, I, I was, I, I had to give him applause at the end because, wow. All right. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh when I hit with this thing. Uh -oh. Man, it's pretty crazy what it does, right? Uh oh, there's a P61. Oh, and I'm getting zapped by somebody. Oh, the pit, the B29, of course. Yeah, they're they're All they're right. definitely flying flying top cover in those. I hate that. Oh. No, I got uh, I got picked up by a bot. That's I just picked great. Up a tail too. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a tempest. Oh, of course, regular tempest that just uh, drilled me out. So I, I went after the, the P-61, and immediately a bot uh, fighter decided to come and come and find me. Of course. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, uh, well, I was going to follow you, but again, it's not letting me uh, swap. Oh, there you go. Oh, it doesn't matter, because you were respawning same, to, same as me. Yeah, I, 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 
I made an error in uh, in going after the P61. I wanted to uh, save one of our guys, but <laughs> uh, my uh, my plan was foiled. Um, I'm gonna dive straight for that uh, six flight in the back. I think because uh, it looks like we got this one handled. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, these guns make me laugh. They totally make me laugh. I want to. I want to see those numbers disappear over there. I gotta watch my six too, I guess. That's. Uh, nice. It would help if I didn't didn't run into my uh, my own teammate there. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay, goodbye. Let's huh? see. We want their P61 want the... doesn't realize I'm above him and behind him. This is gonna be fun. The uh, the fourteen. Uh, 14 gun fire hose of death is uh, really useful on P61s. Well, unfortunately, he can still outturn me, though. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We've got that P51H from last battle. Uh, what's it, Mad Kodiak? He's over there with you. Uh, and I've got an incoming fighter. Oop. Yeah, I've got people all over me, unfortunately. Yeah, one of the B-29s just spawned in on that flight, it looks like, or followed it in some way. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ouch! There we go, now we get to follow you for a little bit. Alright. Oops! I'll finish the P-61, right. he's just off to your right. Ha-ha! Nice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Damn! I love these guns. These guns are just fantastic. Yeah, you're just, you're just raking through that, that's awesome. Let's not run up my run up the back of my fellow. That's uh, yep. that's always a bad idea. I apologize, buddy. I don't think I hit you, but I was I was dumb. All right, let's clear out. It's gonna be really hard. To, we're gonna have to do some some survival stuff with those B-29s. We're just gonna have to avoid them, I think. Well, if they were smart, they just camp uh, right behind those right behind those uh, flights if they were smart or if they were bad sports like how how yeah, would you draw that well, line <laughs> i don't know it's you know all fair in love and war i, I guess it's, yeah that's fair. that's true it's it's one of those things where it, it it bugs me but how much should it bug me i mean it they're in the game and you got to learn to deal with them so, yeah, we used to have a rule in Drax, which was, you know, blame Wargaming, right? That, that's not, uh, don't blame the pilot for flying the plane in the way that's most effective. Blame the person who designed and sold the plane for making it overly effective, right? Like, Right. And it's like, uh, I, okay, I feel bad when I take out my P-61 and I just freaking own everything out in there, in, in the world. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it can be a, a, like a not fun plane to fly. Right. Because there's no challenge to it whatsoever. It's like I go out and I just fly around. I get Hero of the Sky and, and, and Wing Legend and it, no. You know, why? Yeah. Oops. Yeah, that's why I don't have one. I have a B-29 or a P-61. So, there, uh -oh. you, there you Here go. Here we go. I'm, I'm in trouble. Yeah, he, uh, he came and found me, and I couldn't get away from him. Yeah, yeah, they finally caught up to the flight over here. Unfortunately, and unfortunately, they're, they're. I'm sure that B29 is about to spawn back in or come close. Yeah, he's, he's about to, about to do cover here. All right, what I need to do is whittle these guys down so that someone else can finish them. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh. I hate the camera angle on these bombers. I always feel like I'm uh, further away than I actually am, or that I'm going to miss them and that I don't miss them. We got. That was that was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Nice work. All right. Um, Last attack. Oh, this yeah, is. I, I, yeah, two more. I I don't I don't fly my B29 at all. Uh, I got it in a, I got it in a steel, on my free-to-play account, I got it on a steel crate. Oh, wow. Steel crate? Yeah. No, yeah, uh, like, well, yeah, one of them has it in it, I don't remember which one, but yeah. Right. 
And it's like, are you kidding me? A steel crate gives me a gives me B twenty nine. It's like <laughs> that's awesome, but oh. ah. Yeah. So there, I had a little bit of frustration because because uh, I went after this I went after this um, Japanese one and hit nothing. I mean, I went and I totally whiffed, and it turned. And of course, it turned on me and, and caught up to me and killed me. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's one of those things where I was right there, and if I hadn't have tried attacking it, it had just turned on me anyway because that was the only thing there. Yep. So, you know, sometimes you just roll snake eyes, and that's all there is to it. Yeah, I'm about to all do right. that because I'm running right into the middle of this, unfortunately. So that that 12 uh, bomber dude in the back there, I'm going for that. All right. I'm going to just good. use my use my uh, my radio navigation stealth and just completely avoid all these other guys. Oh, I, I didn't know we had another uh, Mark V uh, PB. Yeah, we Tempest do. On our team. Well, maybe that's why we're actually doing okay. Yes. Um, well, and we have a specialized XP-75, which is also doing some damage, thankfully. And um, so I also got I got a couple of those in that 11 flight down. The 12 flight's where we need to focus on, I think. Right. So far, we're alone over here. Yeah, yeah. We'll whittle them down because I think if we can get a couple, if we can finish that 12 flight against minimal resistance, <coughs> all the all we gotta, you know, is knock, knock down one or two of that flight of 10 and it'll be fine. So it's easier to kill right. these over here because we just need to, you know, we need to kill 11 of these 20 basically. And stay alive. And stay and alive. And stay alive. And stay alive. We have 18. Oh my gosh. I, I I'm getting uh, I'm getting eaten by the yeah, yeah. Come uh, by me. the Come bombers. Me. No, it's the P51 on your tail. Oh, well that's that's great. Oh, ah, that gum it. All right. Well, he's about to eat me too, unfortunately, because I don't think I can get away from him in time. No, I don't know. He he peeled off of me, so that's good. Please tell me you got some of that flight. Yes, we did. Good. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We need to knock down three more planes total. One. One more plane total. And then and then survive. I, I'm going to run away. Yeah, yeah, hide. I mean, we're, we're good at this point. I'm, I'm totally running away. I'm full health. I've got radio navigation. Get down on the ground. Oops. Yep. <clears throat> Be helpful if I uh, got down on the ground and and not ran into the edge of the map. That'd be good. Oh my gosh, the red team's just knocking everybody off. Yep. You're good. You're good. I'm gonna do a delayed spawn in as I've been doing, just to because yeah, as long as, as long as you you are alive, we got this. Well, I need to spawn in before there's no spawn ins left, I guess. Yeah, stay over there. Heh. I'm just gonna avoid, uh... The 329 tried to come after me. This, kids, is why you pick radio navigation. Yeah. It's for bummer escort when you need to do this thing right here. Alright, there's no way they can catch catch either one of us at this point. Nice. Wow, against against all those B-29s. That's, uh, that's you pretty crazy. You never know what's going to happen, man. You yeah. never know what's going to happen. Not, not that any of us got super high scores there, but, I mean, I'll take the victory over any of that any day. Absolutely. And and the plane, you see what the plane can do. Yeah. Those guns just rip bombers up. Yeah. And so I uh, I, I had one of my clan mates in a, in a battle. And he was flying a B-29, and he decided that he was going to do the stupid bomber thing that I absolutely hate, which is <laughs> aim the nose up and climb into the heavens, yeah. which 
a B29 should not be able to do in any way, shape, or form. You you lift the nose up above 20 degrees, that thing should stall like like crazy. Absolutely. But it doesn't. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, I get he's already got like a little bit of his health bar removed, but not much. And I saddled up behind him and I let loose uh, tap firing, so that it, so that it would cool down a little bit in between. And let me tell you what. Uh, it uh, I came out uh, uh, kind of bad because I had only a third of my health left, but he came out of it worse. Mm. And so, and of course he was la he was laughing about it. Yeah, it's like, hey, those guns really hit. And I think, yeah, they really hit. They <laughs> really hit. So so yeah. So I didn't in that particular game. I I could have done better. Uh, I, uh, I I made a couple of mistakes that I should not have made, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, T Tempest but, Raw beat you in damage, sadly. But uh, yeah. but uh, you guys had almost the same number of targets destroyed. Um, and yeah, you can tell just you know nine thousand. So you did nine thousand. He did ten thousand, almost eleven thousand to the bomber flights. Man, I did fifteen, but that's with a heavy um, and a lot of focus on those. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty. And especially when you're talking about not outside of this game mode, like regular conquest. To be able to put those guns on, you know, a tier eight light fighter, um, you know, or a t another tier eight multi roller, a ground attacker, like uh, you're sending oh, yeah. a lot of people back to the respawn in a regular match, right? I mean, that's right. That's a given. I mean, th this thing's going to be wicked uh, around uh, red GAA. Yeah. Uh, ground attack aircraft do not stand a chance with this thing, and I'll tell you something, uh, P. Uh, 1099 B2 doesn't stand up very well to it either. I mean, yeah. it's fast, but it cannot run a bullet. And and this thing will just knock those things down to size easy. Yeah. Um so is it the same airspeed as a regular Tempest or like uh kind of 460 Let me, let me look at I I've got uh, so so I've given mine sort of a, a a balanced build. I have a lightweight wing frame uh, experimental polish, uh, uh, turbine, and uh, uprated engine. So all those guys are, you know, ultimate, okay. uh, but not calibrated. Right. I've swapped around the I've swapped around the stuff. So for my uh, for my radio navigation, I've got uh, you know fifty plus fifteen percent accuracy on the guns, but I've got the you know the twenty percent concealment uh, over and above the the paint, which right. I. I I bought seasonal camo for it because I'm going all in on the you can't see me until I want you to see me. Right. So, um, let's see. Uh, a lightweight wing frame. I went with uh, cruise speed and maneuverability and turns and roll maneuverability. So that was my. Those were the things that I chose. Uh, polished skin. I picked uh, acceleration while diving and cruise speed. Acceleration. You got to pick something and. I wanted more cruise speed and acceleration while diving is okay, but it's. What's your maximum I, dive speed? Maybe that's a good question too. Yeah, maximum. So my maximum dive speed is 920 kilometers per hour, which is not too bad. I mean, we're, yeah. we're getting toward. Uh, that may toward, be higher uh, than the actual Tempest because the actual Tempest is 880 before the body upgrade, which should put it at like 900, I would think. Uh, yeah, it, it it might be. I mean, I think 950 is a stock Mustang H. Yeah. Right. I think. Yeah. So so yeah, it's. So if you're you in know, trouble, it, dive. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. For a gas turbine, I've got uh, acceleration with boost, uh, engine cooldown perk, and the uh, maximum speed with boost activated. I've got so so uh, because I'm not running a boost cooler, I'm. I got to conserve my boost a little bit because this thing's slow. Right. And that's why I went with this particular build. I went with the with more of a speed build because my very first game out, I went with a full turn build. Yeah, I get, I didn't know what to. You yeah, know, yeah, I was going to play it just like I played it, yeah. Tempest. Yeah. And oh my gosh, I I was hit. I was always out of boost, and I was trying to, you know, I wanted to get out. Sluggish. And, yeah. Get out and push the thing, you know, because it was so slow. And I thought, okay, I, I know what I need to do, and that I swapped out the I, I swapped out the the gun sight for the radio navigation. I swapped out um, the lightweight power unit for uprated engine. Yeah. 
and man, it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. A lot of difference. Yeah, that, but, that's a different thrust differential on that's got to be good, yeah. And, and, and so I have to still think about it because I decided to go with uh, the CO2 inerting to offset the uprated engine fire chance. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That makes sense. I do that a lot of mine, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, and because the engine and the, the surfaces get critted, seemingly all the time i went with the i went with the uh, fix it consumables there too yeah um and, and generally i like to run boost cooler on almost everything that yeah, i've got yeah it's so helpful yeah more more speed is gooder so you know that's that's my that's my motto but but you know uh, when you fly heavies and stuff yeah more speed is gooder but in, in this particular case I, I need to be able to use my 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 control surfaces because I'm not outrunning anything. Yeah. Even with even with critted surfaces on on a heavy fighter, I might be able to outrun, you know, turny fighters. Yeah. So you know, I, I it's a it's a trade off that you take, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. Uh, and yeah, uh -huh. and, I mean, it really just depends, like you said, on preferences and skill levels, right? Like you're in a position where you don't want to have someone be able to to eat you based on a random crit right like and you're you're probably conserving energy fairly well and are able to make that escape as long as you can get your stuff up and running right so yeah. someone else may not have that and you know goes with a pneumatic assist or something which is a more offensive build rather than defensive but so let me ask you a so, question let, let me let me yeah. so i was noticing something i think when i was watching noble q's video on this i want i want i want to throw something at you uh as a possibility for your build and you tell me what you think all right so I want you to look at the Tempest P, and I want you to go under the maneuver stat, and I want you to tell me what your maximum optimal speed is. Uh, maximum optimal speed is 564 kilometers per hour. Okay, and then what's your air speed and boost speed, the cruise speed and boost speed? Let's see. Um, air speed. So my cruise is, is 550. And the, and the boost is 784. So you're always over your maximum optimal speed. So is there an argument to use a G suit here? So, if I could get if I could get 15% with those with the guns, maybe. Um, and maybe maybe running Millie, because uh, I could I maybe she she give I think she gives a little more um, a little more turn. The question is: is is that where I'm is that where I'm headed with this airplane? Um, it's still got really good yaw. I mean, mm -hmm. all the Hawker planes have have pretty good yaw. This this plane still has really good yaw. So, uh, and because it does its its speed retention is not stellar, right? It's not a it's not an energy fighter like a like a P fifty one that that really retains. Or, or like a JDM that really retains its speed, right? right? You start turning with this guy, and it bleeds speed. Yeah. So, so what I find myself doing is I'm when I'm actually turning and turning hard, I'm riding in the 250 to 400 kilometers per hour range usually. So that's right in the sweet spot of the uh, uh, of that of that maximum minimum turn right right and so now are we talking entry into turn here i am diving oh crap i need to i need to make a turn to get into this guy right okay now i'm in trouble right because yeah. now i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to dump speed i gotta i gotta maybe even hit the brakes and some flaps so i can dump speed so i can get my maximum turn yeah well man i've, I've blown all that energy that i just picked up diving so, so yeah, but maybe G suit is a choice. Well, especially man, since I... on G suit, you know, you've also got you still got the five percent accuracy at moving targets, which is more of what you need for sniper guns than actual accuracy. Your actual accuracy is very, very good, right? It's the it's the right. auto aim angle that needs improvement usually. Right. Yes. And so and so yes, it's a. I think it would be a viable choice, and outside of bomber escort mode, which 
right. there's fur ball everywhere, and it's this plane is really not the greatest at a fur ball. No, and, this, and with the size of the maps on this, I think you want the speed build anyway to get from bomber flight to bomber flight in time. Yeah, uh, it, this I I think there's plenty more experimentation that can be done with this plane uh, in regular conquest mode, and to see, hey, look, do I like it? The way it's set up in conquest mode, or really is this the setup for bomber uh, for bomber escort? Right. Yeah. You know, it, it it does a great job in bomber escort as long as I can keep everybody <laughs> and their dog off of my tail, right. or or be stupid. You know, I was stupid. Part of it. You know, that's part of it. Was was my. Well, it's dad. just getting in there and seeing what you could do, right? But you made some strategic decisions. Right. We did too, right? Okay, we're gonna go for the bomber flight where there's less people around it to allow more overall effectiveness. So. Right. Yeah. So so yeah, I mean it's it's one of those things where where I think that a variety of equipment can really make this plane a personal plane for folks if you like the sniper, right? So that that implies that the player has a reasonable ping uh and not too much packet loss right. so they can actually make sniper cannon work. Uh and, but think about it. The real range on these guns is 550 to 650. Yeah. Now we're not talking sniper anymore. We're just talking low rate of fire, regular old cannon. But cannon that if you get both of those shells to hit a light fighter, goodbye. Yeah. They function more like a, a, a Mark 10, 108, is it? But with a heavier damage output, right? Higher, Much higher alpha. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, and, and that's the thing about this is that, you know, we were talking earlier about the, about the uh, shell velocity, and I was worried. Right, yeah, I, yeah. I'm used to the uh, MK108, the machine can own a uh, 108 with a slow shell velocity and the and the poor range, and then made it to planes like the ME262 and the TA183. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, you know, just try to make those work. Making them work at tier nine is is a is a nightmare. Right. Um, and I thought, oh man, here we go, another tier eight plane with slow, slow shells, and yeah, they reach out to a kilometer, but will they even be on the screen by the time? Yeah, you're, you're you know, doing predictive flight pathing, right? You're, you're yeah. going to lead your receiver. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to hit anything with that with these cannon, no matter how good their uh, auto aim angle is. Yeah. Right. Yep. So, so I get out and I'm and I'm playing it. It's like, holy smokes, these feel more like. Uh, like Russian 37s, yeah. you know, they, if they felt that way, they felt, they felt much more, Hey, these, uh, these guns are actually going to hit at range and they're not slow softballs. They're, they're zipping right in there. Yeah. And so I'm, I, I was a little surprised by that. And it, it did affect my, it did affect my desire to uh, change the radio navigation and make it a speed build. Um, uh, I, I fully went into this thinking that, man, I was going to have to really maximize this thing's time on, uh, time on target kind of, uh, yeah. you know, to get those guns to work. And, uh, I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that it, the reported shell velocity in the beginning isn't actually their shell velocity. Well, I don't it, know what the actual shell velocity is, but it's so they were it's slow. Not, they they were 178, I think, and now they're um, 278 or something. It was a it was a massive buff. And from what I understand, talking to people, it, it seems like they did some testing on this, which is great. That's what we need wargaming to do, right? And, well, yes. I don't know if that was talk, if it was you know Radius Air or or Noble or who they had testing it. But they did some internal testing, and based on that feedback, they made changes. And and so the result is we have a balanced, fun-to-play plane, right? Like, this is – we need this in every – hopefully they're doing it with the Corsair Reward aircraft for July as well because right. you know, the results speak for themselves, I think. so. Right. No, absolutely right. And and they should have done this for the for the P-61. They probably should have done it for the B-29. Um, and and, and – we in the community talked about this previously, uh, about hey, it'd be great if we had a little bit of play testing, um, just to just to get an idea. Hey, look, is this thing going to be within the range of the other planes at tier? You know, uh, yeah, for sure. maybe the maybe the BF one hundred nine K six wouldn't be quite as strong if it had, if it had, had a little play testing. Yeah, because you go you 
go into tier seven, man, you you play the K six, you're gonna you own the skies. You can knock down everything. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, and, and that's the only thing that that mitigates that at all is that you see a lot of tier eight. Yeah. And even even then, it's a pretty good play, guys. Yeah. Yeah. For <laughs> yeah. sure. I mean, there's there's a great video. Nova and I playing. Was it Nova? No, it was. Um... Raptor, I think, and I playing, and he's got one, and he's just, just, it's a no fly zone anywhere he's got that plane at, right? Like, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, for sure. no, it's a, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. So, yeah. So, I, so here's my bottom line on this plane, guys. This plane is, I believe, worth a grind. It was worth the 62 bucks. I'm, I, I'm not sorry that I spent the money at all. Uh, uh, in part, I, I spend the money so that I can make a report. I can yeah. tell everybody, hey, this is what I think about this plane. This is how I set it up. This is what I did. This is how it feels when it's flying. Um, so, But the other part is I get to put this plane in my hangar and fly it. And this is one that I'm that I'm happy to have spent the money on. Yeah. The Martin Baker MB5, not so much, <laughs> right? So, you know, I, I, I'm, pretty, uh, I, I'm pretty salty about that because I spent – I don't can't remember what it was, fifty bucks or whatever it was, uh, to find out that it's a not that great. So, yeah. you know, but it's in it's in my hangar, and uh, maybe someday it'll get buffed, and I'll have it. Yeah, so, I do kind of. I have a little bit of regrets on not getting that one. I'm not gonna be not gonna because just it's it's a weird aircraft, and you know me, I like weird underpowered aircraft. So I'm like, man, you, that was right up my alley, and I didn't get it. <laughs> you, you know, I, I think you'd have fun flying the uh, the RE2. 005 as well. Yeah, that um, one's on my list Italian. also. Yeah, yep. The no, that, that one's, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that thing is that thing's fun. That thing is it's sneaky fun. It's weird and it's sneaky fun. You would love that thing. Uh when it when it becomes available, you pick it up yeah. and we'll go and fly because man, that thing is that thing is a ton of fun. I don't fly it enough, but it is fun. Yeah. Um but anyway, this plane, uh if you don't have time for the grind or or you don't want to face a Kabraski or <laughs> whatever, you know, uh, buy the certs, get it. I, 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 I recommend this plane. I think it's, I think it's tough. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat, uh, people that it, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. There's, yeah, there's for no sure. doubt, but, but once you figure out where those guns converge and how they hit, you're going to be laughing like I did. Yeah. Man, every time those guns hit and something evaporates, I just laugh like crazy. It's it's hilarious. It's going to feel good. Uh, and, and that that's it, you, you have fun playing it. That's the bottom line. And if you're having fun yes. playing it, it's always worth it, right? So. Yes. Yep. And, and I appreciate you having me on and, uh, and and glad to do it anytime. Absolutely. I'm, I'm it's a blast. To... Yeah. We uh, and I'll say this: we, you know, we're gonna have to do this sooner next time. It was obviously a very, very rough couple of months for me in terms of scheduling and stuff. But hopefully, yeah. over the summer here, we can get some stuff done and and you know maybe have you back on before the course here comes out in July. Like we can't skip the month of June. You and I gotta gotta fly together at some point again. Uh, skip the month, of, yeah, to sometime in June before July gets here. I feel like anyway. Right. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll we'll go out and we'll fly some weird stuff. That's right. You know, just. Find the weird stuff to fly and, and, and talk about the weird stuff. Yes, absolutely. That sounds great. Well, Corvus, thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. It was great flying these battles with you. Uh, glad to hear the report on the Tempest. I think we're, we're excited that Wargaming has produced a fun and balanced product. And so there you have it, folks. If you want one, go for it. Uh, good luck and good hunting in the Gathering the Storm Marathon. And we'll catch you on the next one.